Hey guys, so it's another Michael's haul. It's been a while. Um, Michael's is open. You just have to wear a mask, really. And there's not a lot of people in the store, surprisingly, because you know the whole virus and stuff and curbside pickup. So you can really just go in and buy art supplies, which I love. Because there's only like five people inside and then workers, of course. So I was happy about that. And also, I want to show you the first thing. Well, it was technically the last thing I bought, but, like, it's the best thing that I bought because, well, look, I got one. It was so cheap. I'll tell you how much it is in the end whenever I say all the totals amount and everything. Okay, and the next thing we got is this Artist Loft watercolor three-pack watercolor paper pad. Um, I'm kind of happy about it. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to have watercolor for days, guys, for days. I'm never gonna buy watercolor paper for a while now because I'm gonna be using this baby, even though I mainly do watercolor stuff in my sketchbook. But your girl's gonna try to force herself to do more watercolor pieces, so hopefully, this will motivate me. And if not, I have these for years. Also, sorry about that. I'm building the three tier thingy because huh. next thing we have is this artist sloth eight pack, 10 by 10 inches. And it's like it's a square format so and oh my god i am going to be painting for days because i've been trying to get back into painting canvases because well as you can see um yeah mainly i've been doing smaller ones so hopefully this will motivate me because i'm working on a large canvas painting too at the moment but i will not show you guys that because i haven't even finished it <laughs> And I haven't touched it for three days now, so hopefully it'll motivate me. But yeah, my friends asked me if I can do some for them, so hopefully I can get more moolah from them. And I can have fun doing it as well, and it'll motivate me to do, to do more painting, so it's fun about that. Okay, next, next up in this big bag, we have... Okay, well first off... I bought another Winsor & Newton ink one, gold metallic, because um, my other one's running low, except I bought the other one on Amazon. And so when I saw this one, I had to buy it because I need more. I just love adding little gold to like my pieces, so that's fun. Next up, I bought these Ecoline brush pens and the cute like color skin colors. So they can use like with watercolor, so... What I I'm, I use watercolor, so hopefully these are gonna be fun because someone says they're like they're pretty nice, and so I want to do more pieces with color, like skin tones. So hopefully this will motivate me to do more pieces, human pieces, and yeah, hopefully it'll help me more. And hopefully I like these because I never tried these before, so this is gonna be like the first time for me. Next up, we have this watercolor brush because they have the Aquafine watercolor brushes that everyone has, but it was like thirty dollars, almost forty for like four, and so I got these for three. Um, I'll tell you the prices towards the end, but yeah, this one comes with a fine, medium, and a flat one because the one that I have with the Arteza Arteza set and um, it's like starting to go like it used to be like pointy like the middle one, but then it started getting like not pointing as much no more so I needed a new watercolor brush because I mainly use that every day instead of my brushes which is a bad habit but hopefully I can start using these now too with it okay so remember last time how I bought a white Posca pen I bought another one just in case so there's that haha <laughs> because they're running low on Posca markers because I also bought these color Posca pens paint pens that everyone adores and yeah, I'm kind of happy about it. So I got the pink, blue, light blue, yellow, and red. They didn't have much colors at the time or like sizes. So thankfully they had all these because last time I went to Michael's Day, they didn't even have these colors or like sizes. So kind of happy I got them. I'm going to be using these a lot, I know for sure, because I don't, I never tried Posca pens. So it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Ah! Uh, Okay, so the Artist Loft watercolor um, three pack was $19.99, but I saved, a well, I had a coupon, so it took off $4, so it came out to $15.99. Next up, the Eagle Line brush pens were $19.99, but I saved $4, so it came out to 
and then the Winsor & Newton ink, gold ink came out, well, was $7.99, but I got $1.60 off, so I got it for $6.39. Next up, the water brush thing was $7.99, but I saved $1.60, so it came out to $6.39. And then the Posco pen, the white extra fine one, was $3.99, but I saved 79 cents, so it came out to $3.20. And then all the medium Posca pens were all $3.99, but I saved $0.79, cents, so it came out to $3.20. Wait, apparently some of them were 3 Wait, no. Oh, so some of them I saved $0.80, cents, which came out to $3.19 for some other ones, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then the canvases, they're all $10.99. So it came out to ten ninety nine, and then the three tier Lexington Lexington cart I got was twenty nine ninety nine. So that I did not save coupons for those two, surprisingly. Um, so I had a discount, so it came off to eighty dollars and forty cents. So I saved sixteen dollars and eight cents. I don't know. I said I'm not qualified for discount. Blah blah blah, and then I had coupons, so blah 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 so the subtotal was a hundred and five dollars and thirty cents and then including tax so the whole total was a hundred and thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents which is pretty shook for all of this especially the um the three tier um thing because it was going to be like sixty dollars but i say it was on sale for some odd reason which kind of shook me so i had to buy it i mean come on i could not pass that off it was like sixty dollars originally because $59.99 plus tax so it was $29.99 and so it came out to $30 which I am really surprised about that they had it on sale and I'm happy about it and hopefully I will show you guys three tier um thing of what it looks like all finished up and built and ready to go so here's the finished product it was super easy to assemble and I love it and I'm going to be using this every day and put all my art supplies on here when I can so hopefully you guys will see that Okay, so it's nighttime here. Um, I decided I wanted to swatch some of these because I just thought it'd be cool. And to show you guys, ooh, I like the way this works. It's like a brush pen. I mean, of course it is a brush pen, but like, I like it. And I like the color it comes out to. It comes out more peachier off camera because, you know, it's nighttime and such, but. I really like it. Oh, also this one's the 258 one, so. And then the next one's 420, <laughs> so. Whoa. That's cool, <laughs> super dark. Um, It kind of has little specks whenever I swatched it, but it wouldn't bother me too much, so. Next up, we have 439. That one's interesting. Next up, we have 374. Ooh. And that's all of them for the Ecoline um, watercolor brush pens. Um, I see the specs is gone from this one and it dries up really well. There's no bleeding on the other side, which is good. Um, I think my favorite one is probably this lighter one and I kind of like this gray one. It's pretty nice. Next up is the Posca. Ooh. 
We love that. <laughs> And this red, it's so nice. <laughs> I love it. I love the colors. They're so vibrant. And oh my god, it's just amazing. Look at that pink. Oh my god, they're so vibrant and juicy and thick. I love it. This past this baby blue is like oh light blue correction is everything and oh my god these are so vibrant okay hold on oh and by the way this is the white posca pen the bullet one the smallest one they have look at that little point tip look at it it's so cute but i'm not gonna uh activate it yet because i want to use the other white posca pen that i had from last time so let's see Nope, nothing on the other side, which is good. Okay, anywho, I really like the Ecoline brush pens. Hopefully, I'm going to use them for watercolor pieces because, of course, I can. They were made for watercolors, so that's going to be interesting to use with these colors. And then the Posca pens, look at that. Of course, it's going to take a while to dry up. Of course, the yellow one has already dried up, as you can tell. But look, they're so vibrant, and I can't wait to use them for lineless styles because, of course... Posca pens, everyone uses them and the hype for them. So I had to buy those while I can, even though it's not the whole pack that I wish I could have. But to have these to start out with, I think would be great because I have the pink, I have the red, I have the blue and the light blue. I have the yellow. I wish I had the green or purple and it would have been perfectly fine. But these colors will do for now and I can't wait to make some art with these. I'm really excited because I want to do Polaroids. But... We'll see, depending, because I still want to do some watercolor pieces and finish this sketchbook. Because I am actually, like, eight pages almost done front and back. Of course, besides this one, because, you know, I like skipping pages. But, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like these little swatches and a little sneak peek of my sketchbook tour. And I hope you guys have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.